recipe, you're going to need three and a half cups of water, one and one fourth cup of white vinegar, one tablespoon of white sugar, one tablespoon of cannon salt, four cups of cucumbers, two one fourth teaspoons, then two fresh dill heads. And we're doubling this so we're, everything is two times. And we got seven cups of water in there. And we got two cups and two one fourth cups of white vinegar in this pot right here. Okay, we're going to let it come up to a bowl. This is the second part. Sorry, I had to make it in two parts because the video cut off. Here's what we got cut up so far. We're going to make them in a gallon jug. We cut them long ways. We washed them first, then cut them up. Then we uh, put them... Put the thing down like this filled the jar up and now uh, we stuffed it to the top and now we're boiling our brine these are going in the refrigerator for uh, pickles dill pickles in the refrigerator okay we need two tablespoons of uh, sugar so that's two ounces now one ounce so it's one eighth of a cup okay and we got this one eighth of a cup twice because we're doubling the recipe Okay, that's white sugar. Okay, we need eight, uh, one, one eighth of a cup twice to put in here, the salt. There's one. We're make uh we're hoping we got enough to make an extra jar, but if we don't, that's fine too. Okay, we got to get our garlic. Okay, we need one fourth of a teaspoon twice. garlic powder we picked our fresh dill this morning out of the garden okay and we need two sprigs
Okay, that's one. Now we're doubling this, so we gotta make two. Then we're gonna dry the rest of it out and put it back in our containers that we got. Let that come up to a boil. Then we'll turn it off, let it get cold, then we'll put, fill our jar up. Then we're going to set it in the refrigerator and at least wait four days to start eating them. I'm going to put a little bit of extra dill in mine. Okay, it's boiling. Now we're going to turn it off. Let it cool. It's on a rapid boil. You cannot unstir it. Okay, let it cool off. And then... We'll get back to what we need to do. Okay, we've got our deal here. Now we're going to put it on this and take it outside. And let it dehydrate. Out on back porch. Now there's some dill flavor right there. Woo! You can smell that. We got parsley. chives and oregano over there in the window growing right now. All you have to have is a kitchen window, some dirt, and something to put it in. I use uh, two liter bottles to do mine in. Okay, I'm going to take this out on the back porch. Let it dehydrate itself. We got these out of the garden yesterday. I wanted to bring you out here for a minute and show you the green tomatoes hanging off of this. And hanging off them pear tomatoes all the way up. Here's another look at them. They're just a hanging. Here's the deal. Out here on the back porch. Look what I got today in my flower pot. Ain't that pretty on the back porch? Okay, our brine is cold. 
You can strain yours, but I'm not. I'm putting it all in there. Every bit of it. You only want it to the top. This is what you got left. You can make a little jar with it. Okay, now, remember, leave these in the refrigerator at least four days before you eat them. I'll stick them in the refrigerator. Okay, we got our, our food processor. We got our dehydrated onions. Okay, we're going to see how much onion powder we can get. Let these cure for six days with a fan blowing on them. I didn't put them. Out, I put them outside one day. They wasn't done, so I let the fan blow on them the rest of the time. pieces. I just hope it makes the powder now. Might not be strong enough to make the powder. But we still use them in stuff. Cooking. I can use it for minced onions, green minced onions. on you potatoes, baked potatoes, yeah it's making it, just gotta take a little time.
okay? I'm going to finish these up, then I'll be right back with you. Okay, we got them all grinded up. And this is how much onion powder it made. Half of that ball jar, cannon jar, it says... I can't read it. Two-thirds of a cup or something like that? I don't know. Let me see if I can get Ronnie to tell me what it is. Okay, on one side it said 290 milliliters. And then on the other side it said 8 ounces or whatever. This is a 16-ounce jar, so it's 8 ounces. That's what we got. Thanks for watching. This is Tanya's Home Cooking on YouTube. Share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Bye.